Hi guys, Jim Webster back again with another edition of Shopping Cart Integration and tonight I am doing Wix. That is the built-in store that comes with your Wix account. Now, uh, in the past, we have, uh, we've integrated with Wix on a different, using a different method. So in the past and until this video to date, um, we've always, any Wix customers have always had to use the Equid shopping cart. That all changes now. We can now integrate directly with the Wix store. Um, so no more need for the Equid optioned shopping cart uh, within your Wix account. So let's dive right in. Let's get your Wix uh, shopping cart integrated and we're going to do some testing. We're going to see some commissions processing and show you how it all works. So the very first thing you want to do is you want to come over to your IDEV affiliate admin center here. And you're going to come up to store integration and you're going to go to the wizard. In this drop down wizard, you're going to find a ton of different systems that we integrate with. You're going to go all the way down to the bottom and you're going to pick Wix and you're going to continue to the next page. And here now that we've enabled it, we need to go to the integration instructions. Now this is going to walk you through step by step how to complete the integration. And I'm going to walk you through this exactly as is right now uh, so we can do some testing and show you how it all works. Now don't be... Uh, put off if you're looking at your instructions at the time of the video that you, that as you're watching the video, it could be different. Um, the instructions will always be up to date. So these are the instructions as of right now at the time of this, the making of this video, they could look different by the time you're watching it. No big deal. As long as you walk through these steps, you'll be just fine. So first thing we want to do is according to these instructions is go over to our Wix admin center and we're going to go to edit site. Now they've got a new editor and this is why we can actually complete the integration. They've got a new editor uh, mode here up at dev mode and you want to turn on dev mode. This is the Corvid um, piece that they've added that we can now use to complete the integration. So once we're in the dev mode, what you want to do is come over to your thank you page over here on the left. Now down here in the bottom right, we're going to go to this little button right here is the edit button. We're going to actually edit some code here. Don't be afraid. We're going to give you the code. It's just like consider it text. We're just going to copy and paste it. Super simple. So now that we've got this editor open, we're going to come back over to our IDEV Affiliate Admin Center. I skipped a few steps here and just went straight to it. This step right here is going to have you copy and paste all of this code right here. Just select the whole section in here. There's actually a lot of code in here. Just select it all copy and you're going to come back over here to your Wix editor and you're going to paste it right here in this section. So once it's pasted, just go ahead and hit publish. Okay. You've now saved the code that we've given you in this section and you are literally done. That's it. You've now integrated IDEV affiliate with Wix. It is that simple to do. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and do some testing, okay? So quick background on obviously how IDEV affiliate works and how affiliate programs work in general. You're gonna have affiliates, they're gonna be marketing for you using their marketing links. Customers click on those links, they're taken to your website, they look at your store, they place an order through the Wix store, and as they do at the end after payment is completed, Wix notifies IDEV affiliate of the sales data IDEV affiliate then in turn writes a commission for the referring affiliate. So to do this test, we're going to take a little bit, uh, we're going to take some liberties here. We're going to assume that I'm an affiliate and that I am, uh, I've already done some marketing. There's a link out there. And now we're going to assume now I'm the customer and I'm going to click on that link. We're going to assume I've already clicked on the link and we can verify that by looking at our traffic log here on the left. This is uh, a traffic log. So again, let's just assume I've clicked an affiliate link. This is the log right here showing that I've clicked the link. So now I've clicked the link and now I'm sitting at your website here. Okay. So now that I'm, I'm, I'm the customer now, I'm at your website. And I see that you sell sunglasses. So I'm going to go ahead and place an order for some sunglasses. Now, remember, I've already clicked on the marketing link of the affiliate. So I'm being tracked by IDEV affiliate to the referring affiliate. So let's see exactly what happens when we check out. So as I go through this, uh, what I've done here for the video, I've just enabled um, check money order and I've made it super simple just to do some testing without actually having to uh, use a credit card. So I'm just going to place the test order here. Fill in the details. We'll go through this super quick. Free shipping, manual payment. And I'm just, again, emulating a order being 
placed here. It doesn't matter if PayPal, credit card, I'm just using manual payment just to go quickly. Hit the continue button and we're gonna place the order, okay? So now we're sitting at this thank you page. Now remember, in our editor, this is the thank you page that we edited. We actually put some sort of hidden code in here that's now being loaded here on this page. In the background, you won't even see it. Um, not the cleanest template I've got enabled here. It's one of the default templates. Um, your, yours will probably look different um, using a different template from Wix. Anyways, uh, now that we have placed our order, let's see exactly what happened. We've got order number uh, 10,011, 10011 for a total amount of $150. So. Now that the order has been placed, we should see something in item affiliate, right? We should see a commission for that referring affiliate. So let's go to our commissions list and I'm going to click on pending approval and you'll know that notice that now says one and here's our order one zero zero one one. I'm going to look at the details and you can tell right here, it says integration, a few things to look at here. Um, and I'll go through these. So you have an idea of what you kind of want to look at when you're looking at a commission. Obviously the first thing is going to tell you Wix generated this commission. The sale amount was $150. The order number is 10011. Of course, you have the date and time stamp. And you've got your commission. Now, this is a default installation of IDEV Affiliate. It's actually brand new. I did it just before the video. Literally one affiliate in it. It's me. One traffic log. It's me. Um, so this is the default settings of IDEV Affiliate. Obviously, you can change your commission rates to be anything you want. Totally different video. But for this video, we're set at 10%. And so, of course, 150, 10%, you got a $15 commission. So that's standard commissioning, how it works. That covers your integration and your standard uh, commissioning. So the next thing I want to do is I want to move on to what we call per product commissioning. Because with this integration, there's an advanced commissioning structure that will actually allow you to define a different commission rate for each product in your store really cool advanced feature. So you can say this product over here gets paid 10% and this product over here, I want to pay 12%. This product, I want to pay $5, for example, you can do stuff like that. So I'll show you how right now. If we go back over to our cart and we look at our sunglasses and this time I'm going to pick this product here, different pair of sunglasses. Now, if I'm looking at this, you'll notice the skew is 009 and you can get that over here in your, you know, as the admin, of your store, you can get it back over here too. You can go look at your products. You know how to look at, get a list of all your products and stuff like that. So you can get this information from here, quick and easy for this video anyways. All I need is a SKU number and the amount, and I'll show you why. Over here in our IDEV Affiliate Admin Center, you're gonna to go to Commission Settings, Per Product Commissioning, and here's where you will add in your SKU number, which is 009, that's for this product, and your amount, $170. Now, right here, and this is the purpose, whole entire purpose of this feature is where you can define the actual rate, commission rate, that you want for this product. Anytime this product is ordered, this is the commission amount that you want defined. Now, I've already done it before the video. I've set it up. So we've got 009, $170 product amount, and I set the commission rate to be 50%. So it's a pretty solid commission rate, but again, just for illustrative purposes here in the video, we should, when that product is purchased, we should see an $85 commission. So let's get to it. Let's go ahead and check out and buy this product this time. Again, we're just gonna do a quick uh, test order. I'll try to walk through this as fast as I can. Nobody really wants to see all of the forms being filled out. Continue, place order. Okay, so we've placed another order. This time we got 0010012 for $170. So let's go over to our item affiliate admin center. We'll take a look at our commissions again. I'm going to hit the pending approvals. We have two commissions. This time, 10012, you can already see it right here before I uh, go to the next page, 85 bucks. Let's see why. Now, again, we have Wix, $170, 10012. Now, before I talk to you about this and show you how this uh, amount was created, I want to go back and take a look at the other commission real quick. If we look at our first commission, you'll notice down here the commission definition. It says payout level one, 10% of the sale amount. Now, that's coming from the payout level. All of your affiliates are assigned a payout level, and they're going to get a commission based on the amount you have defined on that payout level. And that's why this one was $150, 10%, $15, because it's... It, it, the commission was calculated from the payout level. Now, if we go look at our other new commission that we just did, you'll see something different here. Commission definition, 
This time it's per product commissioning. Why? Because the product that was purchased is defined in our per product commissioning rule set. And you'll notice it's for $85 because it's a 50% commission and 50% of 170 is 85 bucks. So that's how you got to that commission. That's how per product commissioning works. It's super cool. You can add all your products in there if you want. And yes, if multiple products are uh, purchased in the cart at the same time that are all defined, yes, the calculations will work correctly. So if, you, if, the, if you've got all your products defined and the customer loads up five products in the cart, checks out and buys them all, the calculations will work properly based on all of your per product commissioning uh, definitions. So it's a really neat feature. So that's it guys, that covers your standard integration with the built-in store that comes with Wix, as well as your standard commissioning testing and your per product commissioning. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed it.